So we just left our cable slash internet provider. I don't know if you guys saw previous videos that I have put up on, I don't even know if it was Squirrel Tribe or Squirrel Tribe 2.0, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember where I talked about it, but I had a big issue with the fact that I was trying to do some changes to my account online. And it took an hour for a bot to really do absolutely nothing, so nothing was accomplished. I was trying to get rid of our cable, number one, to save that kind of money, and also upgrade our upload speeds because as YouTube content creators uploads we'd like them to go a little faster as opposed to slower right so we happen to be in an area where there happens to be a store for the service provider that we have the one in our city had closed down so we had to drive to a different city we go into the store and when I tell you I walked in and there were 10,000 people it seemed my first thought was well this is gonna end badly but surprisingly it went pretty fast i will say though that when you first walked in the very first thing that you are hit with the second you walk into the store is a qr code that just like best buy you are expected to scan in order to get into their wait line to get help so you scan this qr code and then it lets you type in your full name and then you are just waiting for them to call you right so i scan this qr code and it sends me to like a text message kind of thing i type in my name and it says i am sixth in line and I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna take forever. There are a lot of people in there. But then I start looking around and I realize there's also a lot of employees. And I don't know if it's because they closed down the one in our city, and so this is the closest one that's open in like a 100 mile radius, uh, that they knew they needed more employees to deal with all of the people that would show up since doing things online or over the phone was not working. No matter what I tried, online, on the phone, all it did was end in headache and frustration and me wanting to throw my computer or phone into the wall. So I'm in six in line. And it, I mean, it's it's moving, I'm very surprised. And when I get up to the, the counter, this girl, Cynthia, she says, you know, she calls my name, she goes, what can I do for you today? And I said, listen, I tried to do this online, it didn't work. I tried to do it over the phone, it didn't work. And it's really frustrating and all I wanna do are two simple things. I want to get rid of my cable because I do not need to pay this amount of money for one channel, HGTV. I don't watch anything else on here. And I want to upload my, uh, upgrade my upload speed because it's only a $10 difference to go from 500, megabytes to one gig I think is what it how the phrasing works I don't know, really know about like the sizing of these things that's not my forte she says okay well give me your address so I give her my address and she says well what's the pin number on your account and I said I have no flipping clue so then we had to go through those security measure questions where you have to tell them what your answers are to your favorite whatever or your past whoever or your maternal grandmother whatever so I tell her all the things she goes okay explain what you want to do and so I tell her, and she goes, okay, well, I can get you the upgraded um, internet. It's gonna cost you $15 more a month. She goes, but I want you to know the reason you could not do it online before is because you had so many discounts already applied that it kind of, it was like butting heads. It couldn't figure out how to give you this new price with the discounts that you already had. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. And then my brain goes, how did you have so many discounts? And it was still literally $290 a month to have 500 megabytes, mega, meg, megabytes upload speed and then unlimited data and uh, cable. Those three things at $300 a month is absolutely atrocious to cost that much. And, and, and that's with discounts, holy jolly. So she gets us taken care of. We have now upgraded from 500 megabytes to one gig of upload speed. We still have unlimited data, and now we have no TV, and we're saving almost $140 a month, which is amazing, especially when you take into consideration that not only were we paying almost $300 a month just for the cable, the internet, and the um, unlimited data, but then you have to add in Netflix, you gotta add in Amazon Prime, don't forget HBO Max, and maybe a little bit of Disney Plus and Hulu and ESPN. You add all those things up and you don't realize how much you're paying for these non-necessities technically until you really sit there and look at it and think about it and go, man, that's a lot of money for entertainment, if you will. So now that we have dropped 140 ish dollars off of our bill by getting rid of cable, we do still have Netflix and these other things, but it's a much more manageable dollar amount that makes way more sense for us personally. So I just gotta say, if you are realizing that you're paying out the nose, through the wazoo, out the butt, whatever you wanna call it for the things that you have, call the places, whether it is your internet provider, your cable provider, whether it's your insurance whether it's anything call them and see if there's a way to work your numbers down or to switch things around or to get put on a new payment plan or what new um, discounts are out there because saving yourself a couple dollars every month definitely is a plus